Hello, and welcome to In Focus. My name is Rob Miller, and today I'm joined by Alex Reitzma of Building Point West, and we're going to talk about the Trimble RTS family of robotic total stations. Alex, thanks for joining me. Excited to join you. It's great. Both of these particular instruments that we're going to talk about have unique functionality. So which of these fits perfectly into your application and workflow? So Alex, I think between the two of us, we can work through these here. Why don't we start with what's similar about these two instruments? We have the RTS-773 and the RTS-873. So they look very similar, but some of the similarities here, um, they're both going to shoot accurately on job. They're going to lay points out accurately and precisely and quickly, right? Now, both of these have the same angular accuracy exactly. and the same distance measuring unit. So right. from an accuracy, st accuracy standpoint, identical. Identical when you're out in the field. Um, they're going to be what, what we call three-second instruments, um, seven series or eight series, but they're both three-second angular. Okay, and they look the same. So uh, the other thing I want to point out is they both have what's called Trimble Vision, right? And that's a camera. Tell us a little bit about how you can use that camera right. in your workflows. Yeah, Trimble Vision really helps with um, getting locked onto the prism um, if, you, if you're lost, as well as a lot of the advanced reporting functionality that comes with, along with um, the higher end use of these robotic total stations. And, and it gives you the perspective as if you're standing behind the instrument, even though you are remote, right? You've got a tablet, you're not standing at the instrument, but being able to pull up that camera lets you visualize it through the telescope as if you were there. Yeah, and, and even further, taking it one step further um, with using Trimble Vision, you almost get an augmented reality. It overlays some of your field points on top of your camera vision behind the, the camera. Okay. Um, so some of the reports you can see actually, you know, the points, the points actually, actually on. overlaid, yeah. On, okay, on perfect. So, all right. So those are the similarities. Now there are there are two, I guess, really distinct differences between right. those. Now, the first of these would actually be the visible laser that comes out. So tell me a little bit about the difference on the seven seven three versus the eight seven three. Yeah, that is the biggest difference you're going to see in in practical use. So the seven seven three is going to be using a red beam. Um, a red laser to lay out points. And the 873 has an upgraded green beam focused laser, um, which is a lot better for visual layout on the ground. So it's about, all about how you want to see your point visibly in the field, whether it's a green or red laser. And you mentioned focus, so I want to point out, on the 773, the red laser is focused to infinity. So there is a point where that, that beam starts to diverge and, and kind of grow a little bit. But the focusing that you're talking about happens here because the distance to the location is known. So in this instrument, it actually moves the focusing lens so you get a tight green spot at that exact distance. And what you see visibly out in the field, um, functionally, it will actually take an initial shot. Um, you'll see that laser shrink down to just a pinprick. Um, yep. So if you're using this to lay out, um, it's absolutely uh, perfected for layout uh, with the visual layout in the field. Okay. now. In order to achieve this, there is a big difference here, and that is if we look at the backs of the instrument, we see here that there's a big difference. Now, the 773 has a typical eyepiece like you would see, right. but the 873 does not, and that is because this is where the green laser sits. So I guess one way to think about this, you know, the 773, you can still operate standing behind it in more of a conventional type operation, but this 873, you're really confined to complete robotic operation. It's really streamlined for putting this up on a column clamp. Okay. Um, and, and so you're getting a better line of sight to lay out visually on the ground. Okay. And so you, you no longer would be up using that eyepiece. Uh, gotcha. and, and likewise, um, it, you are behind the eyepiece for some of the other structural steel uh, trades, for example, with the 773. Okay. Um, and so where you're standing behind, taking a lot of as-built shots, uh, that is why they put the eyepiece on to specialize for those trades. Okay. Um, but you know that's why when it's up on a column clamp, you, you aren't you aren't ever standing behind there anymore. Sure. Um, once it's up there. As we're noting, there's no eyepiece here. Yeah. There are no knobs here because you would not be standing behind that instrument. So that's a difference here in these two instruments. So let's take it from there. Let's talk about applications. Now, I want to focus on four different application type trades. Okay. So we'll start with structural. Mm -hmm. We'll also talk about interior. We'll talk about shell, and then we'll talk about GCs from a QA, QC perspective. So starting with structural, and you were just talking about it, um, which instrument, and I want to point out, though, both of these instruments will work for any of these trades that we're talking about, right. correct? Right, right. Okay, but one is possibly a little bit better based on the features it has. Yeah. So, so one of the patents that Trimble holds is the um, SurePoint uh, you know, ability for these knobs to turn directly vertically up. 
okay. um, which is being used for uh, steel erection companies a lot. Sure. And so they require these knobs okay. um, and, and the ability for it to, to shoot directly up. So shoot a point on the ground, scroll this vertically, and then take another shot up top yep. as required for you know erecting steel perfectly plumb. All right, so in that case of the steel erection, we've got the guy really probably standing behind the instrument. Exactly. He's still interfacing with the tablet, and yeah. you know it's communicating on a radio, but he is behind the instrument, and he is manually sighting. Right. Correct? Right, right. Okay. Now, the other thing we've seen is a lot of these structural trades, they might have to shoot, because they're earlier in the process, they might have to shoot control that's a little bit farther away. So being able to sight targets that are at a distance, that also is something that's important when you have a, by having a telescope as well. Yeah, again, it's going to be able to shoot that distance with either one of these, but the simplicity of locking onto that backside at a further distance uh, just makes it an ease of use if you're able to see it um, using the eyepiece. Okay, all right, so that's kind of our structural, that would be concrete and steel. Typically, yeah. an RTS 773 is where they would find themselves. Specializing for these, yeah. Okay, let's move inside. Let's talk a little bit about interior. Mm -hmm. So in the interior applications, we have a little bit shorter ranges. Um, and in those cases, we're not really, you mentioned the column clamp, and I think that's a good point, because a lot of the interiors can work off the column clamp, and they don't have the need to stand behind the instrument right. for their application. The other interesting thing to note about being interior is you have a lot more points uh, that you need to get laid out at a, a rapid pace, yeah. um, which is really where that visual layout comes into play. All right, so in that case, we're actually, instead of using a rod and prism, we're using the laser that's in the instrument to point directly to the surface we're gonna lay out. And that could be floors, that could be walls, or that could be overhead, correct? Yep, yep. and efficiency is coming into play about the speed and ra rapid uh, placement of these points. Okay. And you're actually going to use that. Take, take away the, the uh, prism basically after you've set the instrument up. Okay, and again, I can do that with both the 773, which has the red laser, Great. or the 873, which has the focusing green. Yep. But obviously I have increased visibility with the 873, Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, specializing these workflows uh, to, to basically lay out at a further distance using the visibility uh, and the focus green beam so that that laser doesn't, um, doesn't elongate. Okay, all right, perfect. So we've touched on structural, we've touched on interior. Yeah. Let's talk about the shell. So this could be some of our, you know, our glazing contractors or people that are putting you know, skins on the exterior of that mm -hmm. building. Where would we see them? My, my natural tendency is to think of them like a structural type yeah. contractor, is that right? Yeah, so they're specialized um, for these 773s. That's kind of more the, what it was designed for, okay. um, for the shell guys as well. Okay. Um, just simply because they're taking a lot more as-built shots. Okay. Um, and they, they want to be able to do the same reporting functionality with the Trimble Vision, um, okay. but they're simply just not up on column clamps as much. And again, so we're talking tripod, they're likely standing behind that instrument, sighting through the telescope to the, to the face of the building and to their, their attachment right. points. Right. Okay, so 773 more for uh, those, shell guys, yeah. those shell guys. All right, now I'm a GC, sure. and I'm not self-performing, yeah. but I do want to do some QA, QC. Again, we've said both instruments will work, but where would we tend to see GCs leaning toward? Yeah. The 773 or the 873? So, so you, you tend to see a lot more GCs in the 773s or the 771s, the, okay. the 7 series. Yep. Um, they're setting up primary control and secondary control, so they're, they're outdoors on the tripods a lot more. And they're actually getting ahead of before the column pours as well. Okay. Um, so they're not really using column clamps as much okay. um, because they're ahead of that, of that pour schedule. Got you. All right, perfect. So we've touched on kind of the two instruments, a little bit what's similar, yeah. what's different. We've gone through some of these applications. Um, I think it's important to note, though, you know, with these instruments, we talked about it. Either one, you can't go wrong, right? It's just a little more tailored toward what you might be doing on a regular basis. Designated workflows for your trade. Alex, I want to thank you for joining us today. It's been great having you here to help yeah. us understand the differences. That was great. If you would like to learn more about the Trimble RTS family of total stations, contact your local Building Point representative or head over to gc.trimble.com. On behalf of all of us here at Building Point, thank you for watching.